Hello friends, hope you all are fine in this pandemic situation. Welcome back to CAD Cafe. This is a small assembly of four cylinder inline engine designed using SOLIDWORKS. I will show you how it's made. First of all, I will show you how to design the crankshaft using SOLIDWORKS. Now, for designing crankshaft, let's open a new part. I will share the dimensions in my Instagram account. I will provide the link in the description. First, we are going to design this section. So, examine this. The angle between these two lines is 33 degree, and the radius of this arc is 80 mm, and the radius of the outer circle is 36 mm, and the length from the center to the center of circle is 44 mm. Choose front plane, sketch and select center line and draw a center line and select circle and at this point draw a circle of radius 36 okay and choose center point arc click here at the center and draw like this Select this point, press Ctrl and select this point. Make its relation as horizontal. Okay. Select line, select this point and place it on the circumferences of the circle. Now you can see the tangent symbol and click there. Now the line is tangent to the circle. Now we can use mirror entities. Entities to mirror, select this line and mirror about the center line. See, it's mirrored. Okay, now the sketch is over. Select smart dimension. The angle between these two lines is 33 degree. And the diameter of the circle is 72. And the radius of this arc is 80 mm. And the distance between the center point to the center of the circle is 44 mm now well, it's fully defined okay now we need to extrude this so select features extrude boss or base and select this we need to extrude this to 50 mm okay see it's over and we are going to design this portion of radius 54 mm and of width 46 now select this face and sketch select circle and place the mouse pointer over the outer circle you can see the center point at the point draw a circle of radius 54 by 2 Select features, extruded bars, and we need to extrude this to 46. Okay, now we are going to design this portion of diameter 72 mm and of width 38 mm. For that, select this face, sketch, select circle, choose the center point, and draw the circle. Of radius 72 by 2 okay and features extruded boss or base 38 mm okay now it's done now we need to mirror this feature for that we need to use reference plane so select reference plane so for first reference select this face and for second reference select this face now it's in the middle of the two faces select mirror and choose these features and the plane one is automatically selected then just tick mark now it's mirrored we can hide this plane one we need to make another mirror of this feature now we are going to use another mirror feature before that, 
create a reference plane select first reference as this face and second reference as this face okay now choose mirror see the plane 2 is automatically selected and choose bodies to mirror and tick the merge solids if you don't untick the merge solids it will generate as a whole body we need to rotate this mirror feature like this if we merge the solids we can't rotate the feature like this so untick the merge solids and choose the body okay and we can hide the plane too and select insert features you can see move or copy choose this body this is z axis so we need to rotate this body along the z axis of 180 degree okay see it's rotated along z axis now we need to create another mirror feature for that select reference plane and choose the first reference as this face and second reference as this face okay and choose mirror and bodies to mirror select this body and this one okay and we can hide the plane 3 select insert features you can see combine we need to combine these four independent bodies select the four bodies for combining these bodies you need to select add or else you can also use combine feature by expanding the solid bodies in the dysentery you can see this is the four independent bodies select all the four bodies and right click on that you can see combine feature press ok you can see it in the dysentery that it is combined to one body now we are going to design this portion the circle is of outer dia 144 mm and of 50 mm extruder length and inner circle of diameter 110 mm and each eight circles of diameter 10 mm now choose this face and sketch select circle choose the center point and draw a circle of radius 144 divided by 2 and draw another circle of radius 110 divided by 2 and select for construction okay select circle select this point and draw a circle of radius 5 choose circular pattern now you can see the point 1 is automatically selected we want 8 such circles so make it as 8 ok now the circular pattern is done select features extruded boss or base extrude this up to 50 mm see this feature is done now we are going to design this section of radius 32 mm and of length 80 mm for that we need to choose this face sketch and select circle choose the center point and draw a circle of radius 16 mm okay select features extruded boss or base and extrude this up to 80 mm okay portion is completed now we are going to give fillet to these edges you can see the fillet radius is 3 mm for that select 
fillet if the fillet rate is as 3 mm select this edge and this one you can see some options pop up in the screen select this one now you can see in the preview that all the edges we want to give fillet is selected so just you tick mark see it's over it's a very useful tool in SOLIDWORKS now the final step is to apply the material to the model for that select material from the design tree right click on that you can see edit material option just click on that you can see the material window appears it is necessary to use high strength materials to ensure long operation life crankshafts for automobile are made up of 1045 steel alloys just click on that you can see the properties here and just click apply see and you can close it see the material is applied and let's save this file rename it as crankshaft okay now our crankshaft is ready i will post the next part of this assembly on the next video Please subscribe Cat Cafe for more updates. Thanks for watching.